This is uh, Koiro with another video and this is a short follow up to the video about the DRAM UNO that I featured in a recent video. Uh, and this is my DRAM UNO, sorry again for the, the sharp light uh, in this. The, the LEDs are, are far too bright even though I've changed the resistor value to keep the current down. And this tester, it's working according to the specification. And this is a, a defect RAM chip and you can see it's, it's lighting red straight away. And if I test this with a known good chip, you will see that the test start flash green and it will flash green all the way. It takes about 80 seconds for the 4164 kind of chip to go through all the tests. And this is based on an Arduino with a really simple circuit as I featured in my last video. And this brings me to another device that I acquired recently. I actually got it uh, in the mail just the other day. And this device is made by a guy that calls himself DIY Chris. I said, do it yourself, Chris. Let's make stuff. And he has made a 4164, 4256 DRAM tester. And when I saw this, I thought that ah, I must order this to see if this is the exact same circuit or if he have added some features to this. And the first thing I noticed when I got this was that actually it was missing the jumper that should be placed here and this jumper is is mentioned here it's 4164 it's between 1 and 2 and 41256 it's between jumper 2 and 3 and this is slightly different from this one um, now i am actually testing this 4164 as a 41256 uh, because i have not put this jumper in I actually borrowed this jumper to put into this uh, device. But as I mentioned last time, it's no problem to have this on the 41256 settings. It only runs through the test several more times. The extra address line is just ignored. So it just takes about four times uh, longer than it normally should. And this tester, when I saw it, I thought that this was actually just a ripoff of the original design as we saw in the first video but um, this has brought something more to the table. You can see that the design is varying slightly. Here you either jump between 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 to select the kind of chip and you also have included a small OLED screen on this. Otherwise, it seems to be almost identical in features and it's also powered by this USB socket that you can see here. The case for this is, as you can see, a 3D printed case. It has some nice feet on the bottom. Okay, there is screws behind those legs, so I will dismantle this after I've tested it. As you can see, this DRAM chip it now tested okay, and this is a chip from the batch that I know is defect chips. If I to try to test this one, it will light up red almost straight away. So, let's see what the do-it-yourself Chris box does. Sorry, I have to have it this way in the picture, but the USB cable is not longer than this. Sorry for that. As you can see, the screen lights up and it says DRAM tester. 
press button to start testing. And we can start with this chip. And this is the chip that was testing OK on my DRAM Uno. And as you can see in the display here, it's actually counting up to 256 and is doing that in phases. So it's running phase 1 and counting up to 256 and stating that the first pass is OK. So if we interpret this display it probably four passes to test the chip and that is the same as the DRAM Uno. I'm a little bit concerned about this counter going up to 256 because I'm not really sure what this is really counting but we have to go into the program code to to look at that you can see this also tested okay on this and the test took about 80 seconds so about the same as the DRAM Uno and if I try to test this one I think this was the one that tested bad earlier there you can see it also tested red but it took slightly longer for this to light up red than it did on my DRAM Uno and it also stated that this failed at address 9F00 so this OLED screen actually brings something to the table here and I can test another chip just to have a go at it yeah and this is about the same as the other it tested and it got a fail at 8900 and this is also i think from one of my ebay or aliexpress purchases of 4164 chips yeah and it's right bad in really good strong letters here but let's open this and see what's inside yes to open this up we have to remove these rubber feet Yeah, and you can actually see that he has designed both the bottom card and the topmost card himself. PCB designed by doityourselfchris.com DRAM tester 1.0 top and 1.0 bottom. And it's not stated anything else but as you can see this is the exact same CPU that's in the Arduino so I think that if he has not copied the code from the DRAM Uno I think that he has at least uh, been heavily inspired by the work uh, that originally was done on the DRAM Uno but the display actually brings something to the table here and gives you a slightly better information and you also have one button to start the test and, and one to, to reset to restart the test and if you use a standard Arduino the test starts running at once you, you hit the reset button as it did on my original chip. So, is this worth the extra money? 
if you don't want to assemble a kit yourself and if you already own an Arduino I think it's about 50-50 but if you kind of like to tinkle with old electronics and DRAM chips you will probably be able to yeah make your own with an Arduino like this and have some fun in in the process but I think as a kit and as a complete unit this actually is quite good so everything else being the same I think I can recommend this design if you don't want to tinker with making your own tester like like I did so that's it for this short video thanks for uh, watching and hope to see you again in another video in the not too far and distant future please hit subscribe if you want to be notified when i post another video